Velmi louce. Would you like it to be seen? The book comes out in October. What did I just do? <laughs> Nothing, right? Okay, listen. We're going to start this over. Please help me welcome my guest, Omarosa. <laughs> so, from the clip, which I was one of the reasons, excuse me, you were the reason that I watched Celebrity Apprentice. And the reason being is that you are a person who incites interest, good, bad, or indifferent. Clearly Trump sees something like that from you, which is why he invites you back mm -hmm. over and over. I understand that there could possibly be a show that you all will be working on together, possibly. But I did the Celebrity Apprentice because it was about charity. And I work with kids in Compton who don't have an opportunity to have a voice, to fight for themselves. They face crime, they face violence, and they don't have people to look up to. So I went on that show to tell people about Positive Vibrations, my charity in Compton, California. Okay, well, that was, that was um, yeah, it was entirely for charity. I enjoyed it. Um, your relationship with Pierce was, was quite fire. Um, what was it about Pierce that rubbed you the wrong way? You know, Pierce was the competition. The Celebrity Apprentice, as well as the first season, it's a competitive reality show. At the end, there's only one winner, and I wanted it to be me. So I had to get rid of the other contestants. And you do that by either outselling, outplaying, outwitting. And that's what I was doing with Pierce. Is it, is it that you have... This, this persona that people associate with you, and we're going to talk about the book in just a moment, but Kenny is, by the way, if you would like people to actually see it. Hey, you Kenny. To, How you doing? You have to hold it to that camera. Got it. Okay. Um, <laughs> your, oh, I'm sorry. Your, your persona, what size should you wear? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. I wear size 11. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. Thank you. Um, your, your persona as being this bitch, as being difficult to work with, as being an ice queen, as being somebody that people don't like, as being like Got all of nominated the nominated to be the number one villain by TV Guide about a month ago. I no, am, you, and, and, and I'll say this. You definitely are. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And when, and when I come back, I, I'm very confident you'll be picked up. I would love to see you at the top of your game, which would be winning an Emmy. I'd love to see you. Yes. But, but Omarosa, while, while you and I probably have uh, quite a bit in common regarding, um, you know, some demanding ways, I always find that you show the honey, and it usually works out better, and I'm a little bit sweeter. Um, Are you? Yes. Because I, the interesting thing is, I, you know, I've watched your career. I think it's fantastic to see an African-American woman in daytime television. We need more of that. I'm supportive yeah. of that. But I... But I want to you didn't get here by being sweet. You got here by your ways on radio, by pushing the buttons, yeah. by having great interviews. But but it's it's very interesting that you've kind of switched it up for the the talk show. I love to see more of the edge. I think these people. I love to see more of the Wendy. I'm uh, seeing a, a softer side, and maybe you're evolving. I like that. Maybe you're evolving. No, this is the same Wendy. I, I'm just giving my opinion. Just my opinion. I see a little softer side. Maybe you know they're. Backing you up for the show. <laughs> Who knows? What do I know? Let's talk about the book. The book Actually, is called the... Hi, Kenny. There you go. It's called The Bitch Switch, and I really believe that every woman has a bitch switch. Okay, so this... First of all, the book is not actually here um, because it, it will be out in October. And tell us what it's about. 
We're pre-selling it on Amazon if you want to get your oh, copy. Oh, good. Okay. But it's about the fact that every woman has, there you go, plug in, right? Every woman has a bitch switch. They have to learn how to turn it on and learn how to turn it off to get what they want. Do you know how to turn those off? Absolutely. <laughs> Tell us, tell us some of these ways. Um, the first thing is women shouldn't be afraid to ask for what they want. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have to apologize because we're tough and we go after what we want, how we want it. Everybody gets put down in the workplace if you're a woman and you're strong and you're outspoken. Look, you I, I agree with what she's saying, but sometimes the delivery could be a little bit harsh. But we're working our way through. I want to know more about your book. This is a how-to guide. I need to know it more. It is for women. All right, everybody. Keep it here. More with Omarosa after this break.